In this video, we're going to create multiple focus points for our lighting devices, then add color and adjust the shutters for our devices. Let's start by creating focus points for our lighting devices. We will use the focus point tool from the spotlight tool set. Activate the focus point tool in the spotlight tool set. Zoom in on the stage right side of the stage. Click once behind the lectern. Name the focus point right lectern. Set the focus height to 6 feet and click OK. Now activate the mirror tool and create a duplicate on the other side of the stage. In the object info palette, change the name of the new focus point to left lectern. Now let's place a, uh, another focus point at the center of the curved stage plug. Switch to the selection tool, then click and drag one of the focus points over the curved stage plug. Using smart points, find the center of the stage plug. Press the control key on Windows or the option key on Mac, then release the mouse button to place a duplicate of the focus point. Rename the new focus point to Center Stage. Now select all three focus points. In the object info palette, click on the focus point shape pop-up menu and choose Standard 2D. Then click on the class pop-up menu and choose new class. Name the class focus points and click OK. Now let's focus our instruments using the focus instruments command in the context menu. Select the source 4 19 degree device on the left and the second from the right source 4 19 degree device. Right click on Windows or control click on Mac on one of the devices and choose focus instruments from the context menu. In the Focus to Instruments dialog, choose Right Lectern and click OK. You'll notice that the Right Lectern tag appears over these lighting devices. This comes from the label legend we created earlier. Next, select the Source 4 19 degree on the right and the second from the left Source 4 19 degree. Then assign these devices to the left lectern focus point. Now select the two remaining Source 4 19 degree devices and assign them to the center stage focus point. The two MAC auras are moving lights and do not have a fixed focus point, so we will not focus these devices at this time. Next, we will assign colors to our lighting devices. Select the two outside Source 4 19 degree devices, then in the object info palette, enter R02 for the color. You will see the color displays below the lighting device on our design layer. Again, this is coming from the color field of our assigned label legend. You can also turn on the Draw Beam option in the Object Info Palette to quickly see what color the light is set to and the light spread. So let's move in from the outside and select the Source 4 19 degree devices that are one in from the left and one in from the right. For these devices, set the color to R60. Now let's set the color for the uh, two inside Source 4 19 degree devices. For the right inside Source 4 19 degree, set the color to R60, and for the left one, set it to R02. Finally, for the Mac Auras, set the right one to G990, and the left one to G855. Now we're gonna render using RenderWorks and modify our lighting devices. First, switch to a right isometric view and use the flyover tool to center the view on the stage. Then render in final quality render works. You will notice that the light from our lighting devices does not show. This is because we have not turned the lights on yet. Go to the window menu and then under palettes, choose visualization. In the visualization palette, select the first light listed then while holding the shift key, click once in the on column to the left of the last light. When the render completes, all of the focused lights will show. Currently the two MAC auras are not focused, so they are not emitting light. Now let's go ahead and adjust the shutter settings for these lights. Switch back to a top plan view, select the source 4 19 degree on the left, and the object info palette, Click on the Edit button. 
In the Lighting Device dialog, switch to the Shutters tab, set the top shutter depth to 25%, then click OK. Go ahead and repeat this action for the rest of the Source 4 19 degree devices. When you have finished modifying the shutter settings, go back to a 3D view and render in Final Quality RenderWorks. You will see the light is now being reshaped by our shutter settings. You may have also noticed that the render is now overall much darker. This is because as soon as you add light objects into a file, the default lighting is disabled. We will use the Light tool from the Visualization toolset to create a directional light to brighten our scene. Switch back to a top plan view. In the tool sets palette, switch to the visualization tool set and activate the light tool. In the toolbar, enable the directional light and default direction modes, and then click on the preferences button. Uncheck cast shadows and set the brightness to 75%. Then click OK. Click once to the right of the Paris Ballroom to place the directional light. Now go ahead and switch back to a right isometric view and uh, use the flyover tool again to center your view on the stage. Then render in Final Quality Render Works. The overall scene is now much brighter. We can use this directional light to control the overall brightness of our scene. Once you're finished, switch back to a top plan view. 